This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia, alleluia. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, happy Easter to all of you. You know what? The author of life remained the undefeated champion. The creator of life conquered the power of death. We need to rejoice because death is dead. We need to rejoice because our Lord is risen. He was not frozen. Today is the day that God overthrown the sovereignty of the devil. Today is the day that God destroyed the enemy of life. Today is the day that God transformed our, our life from being mortal to immortal. Today is the day that we will be, you know, we will die like Jesus, but we will also rise with him we will live again today is the day that jesus changed the nature of our life from being infinite to finite from being limited to limitless from from being temporal to eternal my dear friends my dear brothers and sisters happy easter to all of us god is alive jesus is risen he is true to his promise i will rise again now for today's reflection, let me highlight the significance of woo women to our faith. The significance of women to our faith. Why I am stressing on this reflection this year? Because in the gospel, it was mentioned that woman was the first witness of the resurrection and her name is Mary Magdalene, a woman with bad reputation, an adulterous woman, a woman of the flesh, a social outcast. But you know what? Amidst of her dark pasts, amidst of her horrible uh, reputation, amidst of her sins, God used Mary Magdalene as the spokewoman of the resurrection. She was gifted with a new task. She was gifted with a new mission and a new life. Tell my disciples that I'm going to meet them in Galilee. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Job, the message of this year is very clear. The Gospel is telling me and you that like Mary Magdalene, your dark past, your sins before, are not impediment for you to become an evangelizer. Your horrible stories, your horrible past, is not an impediment for you to become an apostle to others, to become an evangelizer. Your sins, our sins, are not a hindrance to become a missionary, to be carrier of the good news. But the friends, my dear brothers and sisters, never stop proclaiming the good news about Jesus, even if your life, you know, has an unconvincing power. Like Mary Magdalene, spread the great and the best news, the news about the resurrection that God is alive that our God is not dead. He conquered the power of death. Resurrection is the most, you know, important and beautiful news ever announced on earth. That's why in a dark and a troubled world, we need someone like Mary Magdalene. We need someone like you to speak about the truth. Never silence the truth because we are not determined by our dark past. We are not determined by our dark memories behind us. My dear friends, remember that like Mary Magdalene, we are called to be an evangelizer. Are you not wondering, a certain woman was used by God to be the first witness of the resurrection you know it might be funny but there's a logic for that god used women as the first uh witness of the resurrection because you know 
it is very easy and it's very quick to spread a certain news using a woman because women they, they they possess a weapon that makes a certain topic viral woman they possess that characteristic they possess that energy that weapon that makes a certain topic widespread like a virus and most women possess a weapon that as what i've told you that makes a certain topic viral this is very sound judgmental and funny but i think that's true why because if you guys wanted to spread i mean if you guys wanted to to spread a certain topic becomes the top of the town tell it to women you know because women are great evangelizers i'm proud because i first learned my prayer to a woman i first learned how to make a sign of the cross I first learned how to memorize the prayers to the help of my mother. Every woman, they are great evangelizers. They are great catechists. Therefore, like Mary Magdalene, let us be a witness to the resurrection. Let us spread the truth. And the truth is, Jesus is alive. Today, let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia.